right, here we go. I'm in the little fire starter. <clears throat> he is a light mech. He's 35 tons. He's not particularly big. This is kind of what he looks like from the back. He does have jump jets. On this guy, I have equipped three extended range medium lasers and four machine guns in his arms. He is not a frontline fighter, but nor is he a sniper. He just simply does not have the range with his weapons to be a sniper. The machine guns only have 150 meters. I mean, they're... They're nothing. And the lasers, whereas they do do 15 points of damage, which is nice, they are not huge. Target acquired. Beta Hunchback coming up C4 line, C3 line in the gully. Artillery strike online. So yeah, he is meant <clears throat> to stick back and protect the assault mechs, the big guys. Ooh, I am way out of position. I am all by myself. And that is why you don't want to be all by yourself. I have people shooting at me. I'm gonna get out of there. Now, where this guy shines with these machine guns and lasers is Freaking up close combat. Up and the lasers do get hot very quickly. He can overheat. Um, the machine guns do not create heat, so. Oh, wow. I did not want to be there. So yeah, that is a yeah, great the lights running around Echo Fort has. Yep. I don't do well with lights. <coughs> I need to get around this mess back to my big boys. I'm gonna work with them. Basically I keep the lights off of them and take out the armor of the big guys before they notice me. Like this guy here. Now that he knows where I am, I need to get out of here. He will destroy me. There we go. But yes, I am very isolated here. This is not a good place to be. All it would take is two or three, even two, mechs to sneak up on me. New target acquired. I'm heading to base, but I suspect there's going to be a lot more than I can handle there. did what I could, but base is overrun with lights. And they're all right next to the base. Somebody should get to their base. Wow, I just got a killing blow from up here. That's amazing. Base is being captured. I've had one of my legs blown out. That means I can travel at a maximum of 40 kilometers an hour now. Make me pretty much useless. Base 
Our base is being captured and there's nothing we can do about it. I, well, it looks like I'm the only guy left alive. So they will either just take the base and I will stay alive till the end of this, or that little light will tell his friends and they'll come back and finish me off. There he is. But I got his leg. Oh, so close. Almost had him. <clears throat> but oh well, the match is over. We did lose this time. I think I did a decent amount of damage. Let's see how it turned out. Unfortunately, yeah, they came around too quickly, got our base, and there was nothing we could do. Our team separated, went off into different corners, and that's what happens when you do that. You actually, it's, it's not good. Let's try another round just to see if we can do a little better. As as far as the, uh, as far as the actual score of the game, uh, 115,000 sea bills, which is not bad. 304 experience which is not great at all that's why my pilot rating went down even though i did 319 damage and had one kill uh not else not much else was done in that match it was a bit of a wash i was trapped up behind enemy lines for most of it so i just didn't get as much done but for the time i was trapped i did like i said get 320 damage it could have been much different if i'd have been able to get away so let's try that one again and see what we come up with Ooh, supply cash. Every now and then you get supply caches in the game when you get enough points. Um, and basically it tells you, hey, you got a supply cache. So you go over to your inventory. Supply caches, it's a common supply cache. It looks like I've got two of them. And inside I'm going to get a medium laser, a thousand C-bills, a targeting computer, MK3, and a Neptune decal. And since I have two of them already, I get a fifth, or one of them already, I get a 50,000 C-bill bonus. So basically all this is, is this means I can add a medium laser or a targeting computer to one of my mechs without having to pay any C-bills for it. And I also get some C-bills. Now I have another supply cache. Let's see what I have in there. An ER small laser, a small range laser um, missile a large range missile or long range missile short range missile long range missile five and a peace sign decal again i can mount these on my equipment without having to pay yay nice and i got a few sea bills out of it so let's just go right back into it uh, in case you're curious this is my fire starter this is what he looks like i sit right about here so he is He's not a gigantic mech, but he's also not tiny. Uh, he is 35 tons, which makes him almost a medium. He's got the four machine guns, two in each arm, and then he's got three lasers here in the middle of his body that fire off. Uh, the nice thing about this build is if you lose an arm, you've still got more weapons. Even if you lose both arms, you've got your lasers. If by some miraculous chance you lost both of your side torsos you would still have one laser if you lost that center torso laser it wouldn't matter you're dead anyway but yeah an interesting little build he's not like i said not the fastest he does i think 111 kilometers an hour um but if i can stick with my heavies and help them out uh keeping keeping the, their backs cleaned up and then running in to uh clean up some of the leftovers after they've been softened up by the long range missiles and the uh, assaults then um, that is his primary objective. So let's get back into a game and see what happens. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We are playing Grim Plexus, which is a nice map. I quite like it, even though it's a little bit warm. So it means uh, your, your weapons and mech will heat up more quickly than in the ice maps and things like that, or the space maps. Uh, it does have lots of open space and um, cover, which I like. You can sneak and peek from behind a lot of these uh, rock formations and buildings in the middle, or um, you can sit back and rain down death from above in the form of missiles uh, from long expanses and be able to see all your targets. It's, it's quite a nice map. Uh, challenging, yet fun. Right now, I'm traveling along with some of the heavies and medium mechs. I can see in the back on my map that the we have a couple of assaults that are making their way and uh, 
quite a few more heavy mechs, so it's good we don't have a lot of lights this time, but um, that's okay. We'll see what we can do. I am traveling at 111.1 kilometers an hour, which is not super fast for a light, uh, which is another reason this mech is not designed for capturing bases and uh, Darth, you see anything? sneak and peeking. Nothing, nothing he is a support mech. Um, he is meant to stick around with his big brothers, keep the little guys off them, and clean up the scraps, and help to remove a bunch of them. Oh, they're, they're shooting at us. There you go, so I like these little buildings in a light mech because I can hide back here and they can't really see me. No. These, this, these buildings are 623 meters away, you can see in the reticule in the center of the screen. So that means even with my limited medium laser range, I should be able to do some damage. I only did took 1% of damage there, so that wasn't a huge loss. I believe it was well worth the exchange. I want to try to draw an artillery strike up there. Oh crap, now that's the big problem. Um, for some reason it I hit on my location as opposed to his, so I just set off an artillery strike right where I was standing. Luckily none of my teammates are there, so they shouldn't be injured because of my foolishness. I'm gonna try that again. Artillery strike activated. There we go. That time I got it where I wanted it. They don't really know where I am, so I'm going to sit back and watch my handiwork. There's my artillery strike. Hopefully he's doing some damage. Every now and then you'll get lucky and you will get a kill off an artillery strike. <clears throat> Somebody will just be standing in exactly the wrong place. Alright, all my heavies. Well, almost all my heavies. I've still got five out. Almost half of the heavies are all kind of distant. Target spotted. They're probably launching missiles, but the so we know, see, I want to get with these big guys here and do a little yeah, support. Yeah, we primary target. Learn if you got them, we can lock them up. Target no tell, Alice. There's also a mad kind of right side of it. New target acquired. That's target Charlie. Timberwolf. Copy. New target acquired. Target spotted. Oh. Ouch, somebody hit me with a very big gun from very far away. I did not like that. Airstrike coming. Alright, I've seen two guys tangling back here by themselves. This is my forte. Instead of letting him try to get the kill by himself and possibly dying or at least getting severely injured, I'm going to come back and help him out. Affirmative. If somebody says no, I'm going around the corner. Yeah, no, that wasn't very good. I tried to get into the action a little too close and uh, against uh, bigger mechs, so I got taken out. Uh, mostly it's because I got hit by a Gauss rifle a couple times, which are just huge. And it was a clan Gauss rifle, so it did massive damage. And yeah, it kind of blew away a lot of my components. Um, I was left with an arm. Uh, side torso and two legs and a head so that means my my left or my right arm side torso and center torso all got taken out bummer oh well those were the games uh, you don't win every time it was a lot of fun